Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A promo that brings some of the biggest names in Europe and new UCL heroes finally to PAX today. Team of the group stage. We got to take a look at what this promo looks like content-wise, SVCs, and evolutions today. Guys, we're going to go over it all and what to expect on the market. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Apologies about the voice. I literally feel amazing. I do not feel that sick anymore at all, but the voice sounds terrible, man, and it is frustrating. So we're going to get through today. Try to keep it short. Let's go over yesterday's content. Of course, we had marquee matchups, but one thing we were not expecting was a brand new team of the week player pick, and they made it cheap again. You can see 91% upvoted on this team of the week player pick. It is nice. It's cheap. 25,000 coins and 82 and 83 rated squad, which is very, very nice. Thank you, EA, for doing this. And of course, with that happening, you have Team of the Week cards on the market down from 40,000 coins. They are about, I believe, 30K, 32,000 coins right now for Team of the Weeks. I wouldn't invest. I would not invest in these cards right now. I know there's more SPCs coming today or refreshing today that require those team of the week cards but i do not believe i would be investing in those just because that team of the week sbc is cheap once again now we had marquee matchups as well which did make a few cards move so make sure you check your clubs especially for some of those players that were required in mms but what i really want to look at is a leak guys there was a massive leak yesterday Eusebio is coming as that Centurion's icon that we saw on EA's tweet earlier in the week. We knew we were getting a Centurion's icon. We finally know who it is. It's Eusebio. That's a massive SBC. That is a massive card. A lot of people are comparing this and likening this SBC to the Jarzinho that we had last year in FIFA 23. Since that SBC was so early, it was such a meta card. People are looking at this in the same light. Even though it's going to be more expensive than what that Jarzinho was, this could be a really insane SBC. Now, when's it going to drop and how much is it going to be? Since Eusebio on the market is around... 3.5 million coins, or at least he was. Um, he's been dropping, of course, because of this leak. Um, I have to imagine that this Eusebio is going to end up costing around 3 mil, somewhere around 3 million coins. And then I'm guessing it's going to drop on Saturday, but honestly, no clue. Uh, it could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be Sunday. Any day in those three days, Saturday makes the most sense to me. But it was a really big leak, and that's an SBC that I think a lot of people would love to craft during Team of the Year, especially, right? This should be out for a long time, and during Team of the Year might be a really good time to craft this SBC for a four-star, five-star Centurion's Icon card with absolutely insane stats. He's got the rapid plus play style. Um, you know what? I've never really used Eusebio too much, but this SBC would tempt me to go after his card. If you have any aspirations of doing this SBC, it's probably worth your time thinking about stocking high rated fodder. We're talking the 88s and above, specifically the 89s and the 90s, because as we've seen for Mbappe and Zidane, they move the most for these big time SBCs. And if it's going to be 3 million coins and expensive, it probably is going to move that higher rated part of the market. So maybe you invest a little bit there this weekend if you're interested in doing Eusebio. Now, let's get to the promo that is at hand today. Team of the group stage, we've seen a leak, right? We saw players leaked early on in the week. We've got another full team leak. This is from Foot Sheriff himself. It does include basically all of the same players. You've got Mbappe, Griezmann, Cancelo, Jude Bellingham, Rodrigo, um, Saka is in here, Rafael Leal, Musiala, Phil Foden, absolutely stacked team guys big name players it's a nice looking team the question is well, how packable are they going to be and how much does ea actually upgrade these cards they need to upgrade these cards pretty good today i mean the question mark is going to lie within especially for those players that already have promo cards like this view kyo saka showing his 88 rated his road to the knockouts is 91. What are they going to do to upgrade this card? Is it going to have a play style? I don't imagine that it'll be above 91 rated. It could be 90 rated or 88 rated. But will they give it a play style plus that will make it different and set it apart from the card that he already has in this game? That's where I'm really curious to see where EA will go with things today. 
they need playstyle pluses on a lot of these cards because at least you think about even the most recent promos that we have had with radioactive the entire starting 11 of this radioactive promo had playstyle pluses even the dynasties cards that are going out of packs like so many of these top cards have playstyle pluses as well that maybe their regular base cards did not have we need to get those additions on a team of the group stage team today 100 percent so Again, this promo looks good because it looks like they're putting out some of the biggest, some of the best players. And yes, as we talked about earlier in the week, people are kind of not happy for some of the leaks because it's players that we've seen special cards for already this year. But again, this is a performance-based promo and it is a promo based off of players who have performed well during the group stages of these European um leagues so that's the whole reason this promo is coming out it is always a fan favorite promo and it's also going to be including what i think is a fan favorite sbc if you remember back a couple of years ago we had a harry kane team of the group stage card i remember using this card it was absolutely insane harry kane has leaked as an sbc or objective coming during this promo guys to me it's an sbc 100 percent i don't think they would put kane as an objective they've done kane sbcs before this is an sbc that 100 percent i will be doing just because former tottenham hotspur player big fan of the guy but also he's english and he has a card here potentially that could have 80 pace for the first time in this game they could give him 80 pace his um, team of the season card from last year, a lot of people remember, even his rule uh, Trailblazers card this year, the red one, is very, very good with the power shot playstyle plus. He's literally automatic scoring goals, and I think that this SBC will be a card a lot of people want to do. He's already got 95 shot, really good passing, dribbling, physical. It's the pace that needs to go to 80, so definitely keep an eye out for this SBC um, I do believe he will be our SBC dropped today for 6 p.m. content, and they need to give him a good playstyle plus. They need to. Like, no more incisive pass EA. Give us something good for this Harry Kane. Boost his pace up to 80, and that could be a really, really dope card. Now, for objectives, we got options. There's multiple leaks for objectives. We've got Di Lorenzo, could be an SBC, could be an objective. We've got Griffo, could be an SBC could be an objective of course we do have the luis alberto card as well this is my take as who i think we'll see as our objective player today i think it's gonna be luis alberto so definitely keep an eye out for that but that's the promo in total now let's talk about the heroes really quickly as well these are all the heroes that have been added to the um, footbin database they're all actually inside of the game as well um, we have not seen yet a betty pele milito some of these cards that have concept cards but we actually haven't seen them from those pre-order hero ucl packs so we're waiting to see how the pack weight on these are today i can't believe it's going to be that amazing but that's another aspect of today's content that is going to make things be pretty interesting. You've got new heroes in packs, and they're promo heroes once again, guys. So it's going to be very similar to how we've had um, promo heroes and promo icons already this year, like the triple threat heroes that we have had. Uh, you think about like Ginola, Govu, and Cole, right? These cards, they have a different pack weight. They're not just the same pack weight as heroes. They will be a little bit more packable because they are special i they're special items right they're like promo cards so i once again want to point that out because that should hopefully make them a little bit more packable than regular heroes or like regular icons are because we all know those are very difficult to pack so watch out for those today those prices are going to be incredibly uh they're going to be rare so they're going to be great to trade with they're going to be awesome to fluctuate on the market schneider with his five star five stars is going to be nuts um i'll bet Pelé company um, even the brand new Ramirez card a lot of these are going to be very hyped today so we're going to be keeping a close eye on those cards as well now we're still looking at evolutions that could potentially drop today as well we're looking at the founders evolution like we talked about in yesterday's video there is still a very li high likelihood that this could drop based off of the leaks but once again I will say um, we actually mentioned it in yesterday's video incorrectly. The Founders Evolution, the first one, does not expire yet. But we're waiting for this Founders Evo 2 to be dropped. There are two active Evo leaks that we have by Foot Police. Um, he also mentioned an all-position evolution that has been added. Um, he said it's different from the Founders Evo. So, I don't know which one of these two is going to be dropping today. But what I will say is, 
like content Fridays on this game have been including evolutions in just about every single week. So I would not be surprised if some of those are going to be coming. Like this one's going to be going away in a couple days. Still have detail oriented that I'm working on there for a double Evo. But uh, looks like we're getting more evolutions, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. But Fridays have been a part of the normal content release. Evos have been a part of the normal Friday content release. So we will be watching evolutions very close to today. And I'm super hopeful that it is that founder's evolution because that would be super nice. Now, let's talk market a bit, right? Because there were some decent trades to be had yesterday. But Fridays and weekends on this game are just not good for on for the market guys they're really not like you can make coins with the brand new promo team that has been released and i think that's where you'll want to be looking today for sure with the new uefa men's and women's heroes cards that are dropped and of course the brand new promo team as well for team of the group stage but guys prices over the weekends just drop and they're going to continue to drop on a lot of different areas even though there's weekendly demand and people playing games at a very high rate because it's the weekend the EA have just figured out a way this year to make the market drop on the weekends. Impacts cards specifically, any impacts inform gold card. So like Gold Mbappe, well, he's going to be out of packs. Gold VVD will be impacts. He's probably going to drop. He dropped a lot last weekend. Gold Neymar dropped a lot last weekend. He's going to drop some more. Puteas, I would uh, throw into that as well. And then, of course, any current card in Team of the Week. Even some impacts icons and heroes. I definitely expect for that to be a part of the market that is dropping and even some of the out of packs cards. I'm not looking at these dynasties as a good investment because take a look at last week's radioactive team. How many of these cards are higher in price right now than what they were last week when they went out of packs? It's literally like two cards, Conte, Mazraoui, maybe three if you include Zinchenko in there as well. Most of these cards have gone down and down considerable amounts since they have left packs. Like Sam Kerr is 400k. She was 578,000 coins last Friday. So big drop off there. I'm really not investing in this Dynasties team. Uh, there could be, again, a couple cards that go up some, but I'm not expecting massive rises. So I would just be very careful in trying to invest in any of these cards. It's going to be maybe one of the really rare, more red meta ones that would go up or just a very, very popular card. Maybe Hoyland, maybe Lauren or Reese James potentially, but make sure you get the club stocked discard items Make sure you get one of those in your club or at least a couple of them, especially for either an Evo or if EA do ever decide to require those in an SBC because there are so many that are discarded. And watch out for uh, Sane today as well with the links to the potential Harry Kane SBC. That'd be something to keep an eye on today as well. Now, also with the market, another reason why prices are probably going to drop today. We've got a big SBC refresh in today. That is the 87 plus base or Centurions icon upgrade. And a lot of people really enjoyed this SBC when it dropped on Sunday this last week. I think people are going to get interested in doing this SBC again. And it may be moves a little bit of fodder. That's the next thing I want to look at. Should you buy fodder today? Fridays are usually days where we don't buy too much fodder, especially when it comes to buying fodder for a market rise when everybody's going to be opening packs for the new promo. That's just not something you usually want to do or really ends up working out well. I don't think it's going to work out that well today. If anything, maybe 86s and 87s would move up just a little bit. I think they moved the most last week on Sunday when this SBC came out. So I'll be very careful with that. You could also say, Nate, what about Team of the Weeks? Because this SBC requires two of them and in the higher rated variety, right? 86, 87 rated squad, two Team of the Weeks. Maybe, right? That'd be like the only place where I would think about risking it today. But at the same time, Guys, team of the weeks, I think they're just going to keep dropping, right? We've got the player pick that is out. I don't see many great opportunities for a team of the weeks rising too much today. Maybe an initial rise, but then probably a drop after that as people get their rewards. Those cards get supplied from lightning rounds. It's going to be a lot of store packs once again today. And there's even some new store packs that have been added to the code and updated in the code from what we looked at earlier on in yesterday's video. And I want to cover that right now. 
Um, this is the premium and the regular Energizer pack, which we saw during Black Friday as the 10 and 30 coin pack, but EA changed the verbiage. Basically, this, these are the special for you packs that we mentioned and that we saw earlier. Um, that ultimate supporter pack that gives a two promo cards and um, a bunch of players rated 80 or above as well inside the pack. They changed it from saying on any available platform to log in. It only is for the game. It excludes the web and the companion app. So we're still waiting to see what these special for you packs are. It sounds like it should be a free pack, guys, but it's actually not. And then also there's a bunch of other Team of the Group stage packs that should be added to the store today on this game. So it's going to be a normal Friday. A bunch of supply from the store, a bunch of store packs, maybe a new Evo, but then cards in packs. It again just comes down to how much they upgrade them. It comes down to the rarity of them, uh, how packable they are, and that'll really control how much hype there is today. But as you guys know as well, the quality of the player SBC, you think back to some of the more popular and hype promo Fridays of the year, that coincides with some of the best player SBCs, right? Like when we had Rodrigo. That was really, really hyped. Um, I mean, there's been a couple good weeks. There's been some bad weeks. So I think the Kane SBC today, or if it's somebody else, maybe that. But I think there's a lot of hype riding and potential hype riding on that SBC player today for the Road to the Knockouts promo. Now, once again, I do want to stress, these are not live cards. They do not upgrade. These cards only are basically think of it as a team of the week for the group stages that is what it is it's a team of the week one time static upgrade kind of i mean showcasing those performances during the group stage and no longer are there going to be live champions league cards all of that is done same thing with the europa league and conference league the last final upgrades of anybody who is deserving of an upgrade from an rttk standpoint uh like sissoko is going to go up plus one he's deserving of an upgrade uh the usman dembele situation from the games that happened early in the week he is due a 90 rated card as well so those upgrades also should be happening today we will see what ea do and then the only other thing that we're still a bit curious about is what is ea doing with the uwcl rttks we that has been leaked uh, Chawinga, Dufour, Fry Gang, right? We take the, we took a look at some of those cards uh, in yesterday's video, and again we bring them up because we're just not sure how this is gonna work for Road to the Knockout cards. EA is gonna get people confused because these are still live. This card design is still a live card, a Road to the Knockout still live for the Women's Champions League, but everything else that's gonna be dropping today will not be live. So that's a bit of a confusing one. So we'll see how EA do that, whether those cards are in packs or if they are SBCs only. But that's gonna be the video for today, guys. Honestly, I hope it's a good day. I hope the Kane SBC is sick. I'm really looking forward to that. Good luck if you're doing the Icon SBC. We'll be streaming today, looking at all the brand new content and hopefully EA have some good stuff for us in evolutions and SPCs specifically. But if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. Subscribe so I get my voice back. I don't know if that'll help, but we'll say that it will. So again, thank you guys for watching the video. It'll be Nathan Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.